Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to be going through the latest Manchester United transfer news and in particular some comments from Fabrizio Romano surrounding Paul Pogba, Donny van der Beek and Edison Cavani but before we get into it guys please make sure that you do like and subscribe. To start with Donny van der Beek, Fabrizio Romano has said that Donny van der Beek's current plan at the moment is to leave Manchester United in January. In the summer as you guys may know he was willing to go to Everton, Everton were really close to signing him on loan and then Manchester United blocked that. Why did they block it and not give him a chance? Well, I don't know. You're going to have to ask Ole Gunnar Solskjaer about that one. But it looks like he's going to be leaving in January on loan or potentially even permanently. Juventus are one of the admirers at the moment. Everton also. So we'll have to see how that goes. But you can't blame him really. I mean, he's had zero opportunity. And when he has played, he's looked decent. Don't get me wrong. He's not been Ronaldinho on the pitch. But he's been quite good. And I think it's just quite unfair the way he's been treated. Especially the fact that it's not like he's being benched for Pogba and Bruno. He's being benched for Fred and McTominay. I mean, a lot of us would like to see Donny van der Beek and Nemanja Matic in midfield. I think if you had a midfield of Matic, Donny and Bruno, that would be very good. Where, you know, you you sort of get that kind of balance. Whereas with Fred and McTominay, there is no balance. It's just defence and then just Bruno uh, basically as a second striker. And there's just no plan or organisation. But guys, moving on from Donny van der Beek, we've also got the situation with Edison Cavani. There's been rumours of Edison Cavani going to La Liga in recent weeks. But it looks like at the moment, Edison Cavani is happy to stay. He's really happy at the moment. A lot of people thought Ronaldo coming in, Cavani might even get his contract terminated. But that's not the case. Cavani actually started the last game and he's been coming up uh, off the bench. So it, it doesn't look like Cavani is going to be frozen out because of Cristiano Ronaldo at this moment in time. However, Romano has said that if the situation does change, a move to Madrid may be on the cards. Now, in addition to this, we've also got the situation with Paul Pogba. Now, it's been widely rumoured that uh, they've basically been given a deadline of three to four weeks by Manchester United to sign this contract. And actually, the latest deadline would be Christmas time. But it seems like on Paul Pogba's end, there is no rush. Because when you think about it, he can go wherever he wants in the summer. So why would he stay? In the summer, he's going to get 500k offers plus from places like PSG, Real Madrid. And it doesn't seem like Paul Pogba is still 100% on this project. I think with Varane, Sancho, Ronaldo coming in, I think he was, you know, he was really happy with that. But he's not sold at the moment with the current manager and the same regime that is just, you know, we there's no structure in the club. Even though we have signed Ronaldo, Varane, Sancho, the managerial situation, the situation with the board and everything like that, it's not changed and it still is a bit chaotic. And this would be Paul Pogba's last big contract in football. So you do have to look at it that way as well and say, well, if I'm Paul Pogba, am I going to sign away another, say, three, four years of my uh, years here in my prime? And then, like, he's already given us five years and he's won, like, the Europa League and the League Cup and the Community Shield. That's it. But what is going on? This player, this is a player. He, he is one of the best midfielders in the world. People say on his day, but I, I think we've actually seen a lot of the time he can be consistent. And he, I think I remember there was one season where he was a top scorer and top assister. So Pogba does get disrespected too much. But at the moment, if Paul Pogba looks at that team and says, where is my place? He was benched for Fred and McTominay. When Rashford is back, Paul Pogba will no longer be on the left wing. And we have Sancho and Greenwood fighting out for the right wing and also Martial for the left wing. So where does Pogba fit in? Because Oli's not playing him in the midfield anymore. So, you know, you have to you have to look at that as well and say, well, on Oli's part, he's not exactly convincing him as well. But we'll have to see how this goes. Make sure that you guys do like and subscribe. And uh, thank you guys for watching this video.